In this video, we back up all of our Windows hardware drivers for free, entering a single command, without additional software. Hello everyone, and welcome to Tech Fix Flicks. We typically back up our hardware driver files prior to reformatting and reinstalling Windows, or in preparation for a device driver update of the type we featured in our previous tutorials, or simply as a precautionary measure in the event of unforeseen circumstance. Typically, Windows will automatically install drivers on our behalf, or we can download from the manufacturer's website or via a third party utility, but there are occasions where retaining a backup of the drivers which came with our machine can prove invaluable. Whilst there are numerous software solutions dedicated to this task, and we may well review some of these in a future video, in this tutorial we'll use PowerShell, freely available to all Windows users and installed by default. We'll be typing a single command, which will back up all the hardware drivers currently installed on the device. We insert a blank USB drive, which we'll use to store the backups. We could use any device, but where the plan involves reformatting our main hard drive, we'll need to ensure that the backup is safely stored on a removable drive, entirely separate from the main hard drive. With our USB drive opened in File Explorer, we right click for a menu. From here, we select New, then Folder, and we can rename the new folder with any name of our choosing. We opt for the highly descriptive Driver Backup, pressing Enter to confirm the new name. With our newly created folder selected, we hold Shift whilst right clicking. Holding Shift adds extra functionality to the context menu, including the option to copy as path, which places the pathway to our backup folder onto the clipboard, and we'll soon be pasting this path. We then right click the Start button to display the alternative start menu, from which we select Windows PowerShell Admin. After granting permission to user account control, we find PowerShell running. Now we enter our single command, which you'll also find in the written description accompanying this video. We begin by typing export dash Windows driver, all as a single word, then add a space. Incidentally, all of our dashes here are of the minus sign type. After our space, we type dash online, before adding a further space. Next, we add dash destination, adding a final space. Finally, we add our destination path. You'll recall that moments ago we copied the path of the folder on the USB device. It's now time to paste it, so we press Ctrl V, which pastes the path into our command. Your pathway will be unique to you, and will almost certainly differ from ours. Note that the quotation marks have been automatically pasted here, and help the system to resolve issues, including the space in our directory name. There will follow a period of processing. The time taken will vary with the speed of the USB drive and the number of drivers to be backed up. With our slow USB 2 device, this took just under 10 minutes. On our faster M.2 drive, this was reduced to less than a minute. During this time, there will be no activity within the PowerShell window. At the conclusion of the process, we see a list of the driver files which have been backed up. We can scroll through this list for full details. We close PowerShell, navigating to our USB drive. Opening the driver backup folder, we see its content, specifically all of the drivers backed up in the previous operation. We can now eject the USB drive and store it safely until needed. Don't forget that as the hardware in each PC is unique, you'll need an individual backup for every device you own, and you'll need to update the backup whenever significant new hardware is added. We now fast forward to a future time. To deploy the backup, we click the Start button, typing Device Manager and clicking to run it. Problematic devices are often identified via a yellow warning triangle, and here we right click on a Bluetooth device which isn't functioning, selecting Update Driver from the menu which appears. As we have a fully prepared USB device containing our drivers, we click Browse My Computer for Drivers. From here, it's a simple matter of clicking Browse and navigating to our USB device. We then simply highlight our driver backup folder, and when we click OK, Windows will search for and install the driver. Be sure to check out our back catalogue and subscribe for our future projects. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you found it useful, please consider subscribing by clicking the logo on screen now. If you'd like to see more, there are two suggestions currently on screen. If you have a better, faster or more economical solution, let us know in the comments. We'd love to hear from you. You're also welcome to follow us on Twitter. Until your next tech fix, goodbye.